In this short email, I'm going to show you what you can use in Outlook to stop people spamming you all the time with you subscribe to this and we're going to send it to you even if you unsubscribe. Let's forget whether they are GDPR compliant or not. We just want to stop them filling up our mailbox. As you can see, I have 148 emails that appeared in this box and I don't want a lot of them. So obviously you can delete them, but that doesn't stop them coming back later. I'd like to show you the ways that Outlook have to stop them coming back for good. Now, I like Des O'Connor, but I don't think this is Des O'Connor the singer. So I'm going to do two things. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the unsubscribe link. And the second thing I'm going to do is ban them from getting into my inbox. Obviously, you do the unsubscribe first, which will take me to some website somewhere. And will give me the chance to unsubscribe from their system. But going back to the inbox, there is also another way we can do this. And that is, if we right click, you will see that there is a junk mail option and we can block the sender. What that means is the email address that they're using will be blocked by Outlook. Outlook will still receive the email, but once it received it, it will block it and put it in the trash. So if I click on block sender, I'm warned they're going to be moved to the junk folder. If you don't want that message at the time, just click don't show me again. And if I don't want the uh, airliner routes, which I don't, again, I can use the unsubscribe option. And if they've got one, and of course they have. Oh, yep, there it is. The uh, other option is to right click and say junk mail block sender. You can also use a positive version of this. For instance, here's an email from my letting agents. I can go junk, never block sender. And that is now in my safe senders lift list. I don't want to see more offers from Screwfix. So I go right click and go to unsubscribe first. So let me just do that one. I'll put that into my browser to unsubscribe from them. And while I'm doing that, I'll right click here and go junk block sender. So if we want to know what's going on, we can go right click junk, junk email options. And here we have the option to send what Outlook thinks is junk to the junk mail filter. Now I don't use this because I find that uh, it has the habit of stopping junk mail that I want and not stopping junk mail I don't want. So the next tabs are what I'm using. The safe senders list is going to give me a list of email addresses and if I know other people I can add them by hand. And you'll notice I also have here trust email from my contact so any email addresses in my contact list will be in the safe senders list you could also say add people that email so when as soon as I email somebody they will also become part of the safe senders list I don't want this checked but you might find that that's useful And then the other one we use a lot is the block senders list. So here we put email addresses of places we do not want to receive email from. And if you want to, you can actually use wildcards. So I've got uh, routes online, then I could change that to at routes online, and that should stop anybody from that email address. Oh, sorry, that domain, any email address on that domain. And that's how you do it.
Now the only downside of this particular feature is the fact that it's running on Outlook. So Outlook has to receive the emails to get rid of them. And if you're running multiple copies of Outlook on different devices, like I am, then obviously if this PC doesn't have the person blacklisted, but my smaller laptop does have them blacklisted, and I open on this PC and not on my laptop, they won't get removed. If I then open on my laptop, they would be removed. So just bear in mind that these lists are going to only apply to the PC and the version of Outlook that is running them. Otherwise, it's a very neat and a very easy way and you'll find over time you start to reduce your spam email dramatically. This is a new installation. It has 143 emails here that I got through. I know already because I did a similar thing yesterday that my laptop, well, sorry, yes, my laptop that is set up with all my um, spam allowed, disallowed emails already programmed into it would have brought that down to about 25 to 30 emails. Of course, if you want to read any of the content of the emails, the good thing about this feature, though, is that they're not dead. They're in your trash. So if you want to go and extract something that you really wanted to have a look at, like the airline one, you just type in a few words of the email, and there you are. There's a sublist out of my trash folder of things that I perhaps want. I may also want to look at my junk mail folder because that is where the blacklisted ones have gone. And you can see old Joshua Bowen's been hammering quite hard into the system. So there we are. That's Outlook. Outlook, I find, is still a very good app to use and it's very good for looking after emails. I have multiple email addresses and on my other PC I have multiple inboxes running down here and you can use these safe lists to protect your system across the whole way. So that's it, that's all I've got to say. That's how you blacklist email addresses you don't want to see in Outlook. But just as a final reminder, a final, final reminder, I promise you, please unsubscribe for their services if you don't want them first. It's far easier if they don't send the email than if you have to blacklist them. Once you have unsubscribed, then I always blacklist as a habit just in case their system decides that it's not going to take notice of me. That really is the end. There comes another bit of spam. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for other useful tips. For more info, visit wpbusinessclub.com.